YouTube, it's John again. Just wanted to go over a couple of things that after I purchased my eHerms setup that I thought you guys should know about. Be weary of what you buy and how and who you buy it from. Not everyone is a licensed electrician. Not everybody has a good understanding of electrical properties um, or common sense. Common sense is not that common. So when you're working with electricity and liquid, you have to be very sure about what you're doing. I have in my hand a 5500 watt, 220 volt heating element that was installed in one of my Kegel systems when I first bought it. I told you guys in a previous video how it caught on fire because of shoddy electrical connections. The way that this was put together, you would insert this element in, this nut would be off, you would have a rubber or silicone gasket, and this would get inserted in through a hole, then tightened up, and on the back you would have two screw on terminals for your power, and you would have this ground to the vessel. Somebody went ahead and put this LB. It's great for, you know, for outdoor use. But then what they did was they put in wires, and if you can even look, they put these connectors on. I'm not even really touching it. It's loose. I could probably even pull it off of my hand if I tried. But it's just spinning. Okay? These are not made for solid core wire. These are crimpons. What should have happened is you twist together the solid core wiring, you put a wire nut on. Or you would have a complete connection solid from your output on your PID and your solid state relay all the way to your boil kettle element and you would fasten it securely and ground it properly. The way mine was grounded, they just wrapped it around the boil kettle and then JB welded around it to hold it there. They didn't even put a nut and bolt. So with this being said, this can cause your whole house to catch on fire. Please be safe everybody. Know what you're doing. Spend the money. Buy it from a reputable company. I know there's a lot of people out there that can make it for you for half the price, but do it right. After showing you guys what not to do with electricity and wiring and how to make connections, I went ahead and found a several different ways of grounding and protecting the back of a heating element. And the best one I found and the sleekest and nicest is something made by brewhardware.com. Uh, Bobby from New Jersey, that's his handle on YouTube, you can look him up, sells something called a hot spot or hot pod. What it does is it gives you a nice real clean, um, let me show you, a real clean, nice way of containing your heating element and keeping it secure by, I have a 10 gauge three conductor running into a squeeze connector that will hold this nice and firm. So if I did disconnect this from my solid state relay output quick connector, I can lift this up and move it around. Whereas my other one, it was just hanging out. This hot pod, the two wires that go into here, let alone it's sleek and nice, it gives you a nice ground with this cap. It screws together. You see, I could probably twist it. And you could take it off, and my wires are inside there. And that cap is making contact with my kettle, and there is a screw on the bottom that I put my neutral to. Well, not my neutral, my ground, my earth ground. The other two power, the load and the neutral, both run into my heating element. 
please ask a licensed electrician to do this for you. Hook it up. Um, don't use squeeze connectors. Don't do those type of things. Use solid core or this is a stranded core wire 10 gauge. It's capable of I believe 30 amps of current. Um, it's rated for that. You have to use the right size cabling, you have to use the right connectors, otherwise you are dealing with high voltage, it could hurt you, ultimately. Burn down your house, cause lots of problems. Alright guys, you have a good one, be safe, look up uh, brewhardware.com, they make lots of custom stuff, if you don't want to drill in something into it, they make something called a hot stick. It's the same thing, but it has a really nice piece of stainless steel that comes off, and you can just clip it right on the end over here and go into any vessel and have electric brewing in your house. All right? You have a good one. Good night.